All right, welcome to episode 69 of Adventures in Inbetweening. Today I am looking at a show called Samurai Champloo from 2004. I'm going to be breaking down the first sequence where Jin and Mugen meet, and uh, it's, it's quite the meeting. Wow, that is a lot happening in a short amount of time. So you can see I'm, uh, I'm adding a strike counter at the top there to see how many uh, different strikes they're taking at each other. We can keep track of them. Here's Mugen's first strike. Slashing at Jean. Jean is dodging at the same time as the slash. Got the after image of the sword there. The camera is going to be following uh, Mugen, but it's delayed. Following through with his action, they can see that the, uh, the drapery that's hanging up there is affected by his slash. Now just for Gene uh, is going to make his attack, the glint of the sword, and then boom, comes across there. We're panning with uh, Mugen as he goes across here. Gene's following through. Great silhouette on Mugen. We're going to cut to a reverse shot here, looking down on Gene, out of focus. Just a 10-frame shot, really fast. He turns, comes into focus. He's surprised at how fast uh, Mugen was and unconventional. You can see how what he's doing here. We've got a close-up of his foot. It's going to land on the pillar here. Ankle is going to bend, slow, 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 boom, big push off. There's tons of contrast in this. There's so much setting up a fast mash motion by having slow motions precede it. This here, this, this uh, shot is all about slow. It's all about things happening really, really, really slow. And I'll just play it again in slow motion here. You can just see it's all just setting up this nice silhouette. Gives us a breath. We just had foo foo. And then it's like, what just happened? We go, <sighs> Okay, and then we get back into the action. Look at that terrific hand drawing there. Here comes Mugen. Gene is calm in general. Mugen is wild and all over the place. Here comes his slash. Gene still manages to dodge it. He's leading with his hips, but he still needs to move his upper body first. And then he's immediately counter-striking. Mugen is dodging in the air, doing his flipping around there, continues his follow-through. Look at this wonderful tight silhouette of Gene. If you ever look at silhouettes of Gene, does this quick move, quick move, very tight silhouette. Mugen's all over the place, so much going on. He throws himself back here to avoid the next strike. Gene can't get him. Gene was ready to do the backhand, but suddenly, oh, Mugen's right on him. Spinning him around, Gene is like, well, okay, I haven't fought anybody like this before. Now Mugen is bending here, boom, separation. Keeps his eyes looking back, watching uh, Gene. Now Gene's kind of gesturing forward with his sword here. Mugen's sword comes up just in case, but that wasn't really an attack. Gene, uh, Mugen was already too far away. Mugen's retreating here, and they're settling down. Even, even this foot, watch the screen right foot here of Mugen. Settles it down, even, even how he stands is unconventional. And now we got this nice foreground elements here. Got this perspective on the left side with the uh, tables and chairs. Both of them are sizing up the situation. They have a bit of conversation, and they're back to it. Now, Mugen, again, he's just uh, telegraphing his next move. Gene is much more compact. He, you can't see what's coming. He's hiding what's about to happen. Mugen, look at it. Look at the wildness of that slice there. Here comes Gene, ready to swing. Boom! So fast. But Mugen still easily, easily dodges it. All these characters in the background, none of them are moving. Completely still. Now the handheld camera here is on ones, that the characters are moving on twos. So we get this nice contrast there. And so Mugen here, he's gonna plant his hand, gonna start doing uh, some breakdance moves here. Uh, he's forcing uh, Gene to shift his weight with that little sword strike, and then boom! That leg comes in, the kick comes in, and uh, make, puts Gene off of balance there. Mugen's gonna continue spinning on that pivoting hand. Gene's starting to get his balance back. Regaining his footing, Mugen's still spinning on that hand, and now he's going to turn that into an attack with the other leg. Oh, look, you're kicking out there. Wonderful stuff. Look at this terrific posing and silhouette there. Yeah, it's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, contrast there and shape change. Now Mugen's ready. Oh, what am I going to do next? He doesn't really have a plan. He just kind of goes as he goes and makes it up along the way. Uh, Gene, on the other hand, always has a plan. It's always very calculated and formulaic for him. 
slash out of nowhere. Move install dodges it. You can see that on the first frame where the slash is there, there's a big glow. And then the second frame, the animation hasn't changed, but the glow fades. Uh, I like that effect as well. And here again, what? Just so fast. One slash, but Mugen knew. You could see a couple frames before that. He was starting to jump up already. Got this flowing, trailing clothing. The shoes are always loose. He lands on a higher level now. So he's got a bit of an advantage over Gene. Gene is going super low, though, so he can explode up. He strikes low. Mugen does the backflip towards us. Look at that terrific hand silhouette. Gene has to follow through with the sword, planting the hand in the foreground. Great angle on his chin. Gene is just collecting information. That's what he does. He's, he's just a very calculated fighter, as if it was an MMA fighter, and he's just like, okay, I'm trying this, I'm trying this, figuring out where the distance is. Look at look at Mugen so athletic, but look how awkward he is with the posing sometimes. You can see the jeans catching up here, overlapping the silhouette. We've got this uh, foreground elements. We've got this guy standing there. We've got this pillar here. This uh, pillar is going to come uh, into the story in a minute or two. Mugen's going to continue forward. Gene's getting ready for the attack. Now we're going to do an angle change. And this is going to be important to sell this strike here because then their silhouettes are completely clear from each other. Here's the strike. Here's the silhouette. And this angle helps sell that. Look at the shape change here on uh, Mugen. <laughs> Between these two poses. Just wonderful on one frame. He's going to continue following through and tumbling here. Terrific stuff there. Slow, now again, slowing in, getting ready for the next move. Gene comes in. Now Mugen, again, he uses everything that's going on around him. He'll use a table, a pillar, any kind of props or anything like that. Now Mugen's covered. Gene's going to pause here. He doesn't know, quite know what to make it. He just puts a hand on the table and is like, well, okay, uh, what am I going to do with this? Uh, is he going to come through the table? What, what, where should I go? Boom! Mugen shoots up to the top. We pan up there real quick to reveal him. And that's going to go into the next shot. Go wide. Mugen has the upper hand. Gene's still looking over the table there. Wild slash. Gene dodges. Mugen is going to now <laughs> land on, with his foot on the pillar here. Keep an eye on that pillar. We'll come back to that. Now he's going to attack. Look at this again, crazy silhouette. Gene is surprised here. He's taken aback. There's the big slash coming down. Lands, clothing, trailing, just a, 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 an awkward, unorthodox. Adjusting the camera now over to Gene. Gene is ready for his next strike. He's like, well, this guy moves like nothing I've ever seen, but I'm still going to stick to my regular attacks. Now Mugen reverses, does another wild slash. And then that seems to throw him off balance. He's now leaning the screen right here. Does another slash, backhand slash. Turns his awkward pose into another attack. He's off balance now. Gene is like, oh yeah, this guy's way off balance. Look how, look at, look how crazy he is. He's completely ruined it. But even with that off balance, he's still able to throw up the kick there. Spin it around. Uh, super flexible, super athletic. Panning with the action back to the left now. Mugen's up fast. Gene's getting ready for the attack. Mugen's still dodging. No, he's attacking. It felt looked like he was dodging, but no, he's swinging with his foot there. So he's ahead now, 11 to 7 in the attacks. Now this column here, you can see it's actually, it was way far in the foreground. It was just, it was Mugen pushed off of it earlier, but it wasn't anywhere near him in, in actual 3D space. It was just one of the cheats that they use in this. There's, again, there's so much here. So now Gene's attacking. Uh, he hits uh, Mugen's... Uh, shoe here and we can see the metal plates on the uh, bottom of Mugen's shoe. It's just we've seen that a few times earlier in the shot already or in the sequence but this is the first close-up where we actually see that it's useful. Now he goes and reverses a great extension. Sword hits the back of the sword hits Gene in the head there. Gene's still in tight silhouette. Mugen's in super wide silhouette all over the place. Mugen's coming up avoids the slash regains his footing. Gene's in control now coming forward reverse the angle here. Now, uh, Gene's on the left. Mugen's going to attack. we got all this foreground elements. Gives us an interesting angle on this with the blurred uh, foreground. Mugen comes forward with the attack, up to 13 to 9 now. Gene fights him off. He's always got, you know, a very conventional solid form. Moving forward. Whoosh! Wild slash. Mugen dives down. Again, he's pivoting on his hand there, showing that he's, a, he's willing to use anything around him. And Gene's always just going to rely on his sword. Gene's pressing towards him now. Now we're on the exterior of the tea house. We see Fu here. This is the first time that she's meeting the two of them together. She's already met Mugen and made a deal with him uh, for 100 dumplings, I believe, to uh, uh, defend her against some uh, ruffians. Look at the slash there. Here comes all the fabric and the cloth fluttering down. 
Gene goes through, even a piece of the cloth catches on Gene, he, interacting with the environment. And that, that's about the only time that he does interact with the environment. That's unintentional. And, of course, everybody's like, let's get out of here. And they're booking it back into the tea house. Whew! So much going on there. And I, I know I missed a few things as I was going through it. But, uh, yeah, that, that's just one really short 30-second fight sequence from this uh, terrific, terrific show. If you get a chance and you haven't seen it yet, please uh, check it out. And thanks for uh, watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.